Hello Taurus and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. All right, hammer. Ooh, what is this? Ooh, what is this? Ooh, what is this? Okay, so holy cow. There's a major breakup going on. Look at the sabotage, breakup, heartbreak, pain, interrogation. <laughs> what the heck? Um, abandonment, separation, deception, a shocking attack. Um, I feel like there, you know what? Somebody feels very betrayed. This is, it almost feels like a karmic speaking out, okay? Um, because I feel like there's an engagement that's been called off. All right. Yes, yeah, so there's somebody making a healthy choice for themselves. Okay. Um, I feel like somebody is calling off a wedding or an engagement. And there's, there's another person who feels very betrayed, possibly wanting some revenge. Um, yeah, Chaser, here's the thing. I feel like there's a masculine energy who called off a wedding or called off an engagement. And they're about to come chasing after you. Okay. Um, but here's the thing. I feel also, too, it says codependent, fear of abandonment issues. I feel like somebody doesn't want to be without you. I feel like there's another person with abandonment issues. They don't want to be alone. Maybe there's a masculine who doesn't want to spend any alone time. You know, this is someone who's breaking up with someone right before a wedding. To come and run towards you okay but they're not spending any time healing I don't know they're me they are making a healthy choice here they just want to be happier okay so yeah they're canceling a wedding here seduction attraction flirting dating hooking up somebody could have recently had some kind of affair oh that's what this is um, there's an engagement that's being broken off because a masculine was just betrayed. There's a, a whoever they were engaged to. They're finding out they're having an affair behind the scenes. Okay. Oh my gosh. This one is juicy. Holy cow. Yeah. So there's a masculine. Ooh, death. Yeah. There's a big ending to this. Oh yeah. It's over. And there's a masculine who just wants to be free to, so that they can be happy. Okay, I feel like they're coming towards you. But here's the thing. Remember, I talked about baggage. I feel like this, this masculine um, needs to heal. They're coming right from this karmic -y situation towards you, collective. They're not spending any time healing. And that means they're bringing some baggage. They're bringing resentment of this karmic. They're, br they're bringing jealousy, possibly, because this karmic has been caught cheating. They're bringing in um, a feeling of being betrayed, okay? And they're coming towards you with all of this luggage, okay? All of this baggage, okay? That, when I say luggage, too, maybe they may want to even take a trip with you. They Oh, that's what this is. So they've got a honeymoon planned. And they want to put the ticket in your name and they want to take you to this honeymoon paradise that they were planning to go on after they got married to this karmic. But now they found out that this karmic is cheating and this thing is coming to an end, but they don't want to waste those plane tickets. Um, so they want to take you on this pre-planned honeymoon that they planned with someone else. Okay, you got to be kidding me. So this person's coming towards you with honeymoon tickets, okay? Um, yeah, after breaking off a, 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 all the wedding plans, at breaking off an engagement with a karmic because they, they actually, I feel like they're, they're catching the karmic cheating. They're catching them in the act, okay? And that's why this thing is over and done. This masculine's not, yep, wedding rings. Yep, I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you. 
um, this masculine, they, uh, they're breaking this karmic engagement. They were just about to get married too. And I feel like it's leaving this karmic feeling heartbroken, very betrayed, maybe even wanting some kind of revenge. Um, it's leaving your masculine feeling heartbroken, possibly feeling lost, grieving, and ending. But like I said, they're, they're, they've got some negative emotions from all of this, but they want to bring all of that to you. They're only interested in getting their happiness back and their wish fulfillment, but still they're showing up at your door with all of this baggage. They're not spending time in hermit energy. They're not spending time healing Okay, yeah, they're realizing this. See, this person was with a snake. They, they were with a snake. They were sleeping with the enemy. Now they found out and they regret it. Okay, they regret it, but, um, but they haven't healed from this. This person is, look at, they're on fire, speeding towards you, okay, but carrying all of this pain and betrayal. All right. They feel like you may like you you hold the key to their heart. They're hoping that you're going to be welcoming. Okay? Um it says welcoming love, right? Meeting the one, open your heart, getting together. They see you as the perfect match for them now. Okay? But they're hoping that you will heal them. They need to actually heal themselves. Okay, this person's going to want to ask you out on a date, on a vacation. I'm telling you, they're going to ask you to go on this vacation to paradise with them. But this was the same exact plane tickets and reservations that they had for their honeymoon. Okay, and I feel like this person, they're taking a big risk here. Yeah, taking a chance, a risk, being strategic options right oh oh the collective will go with me on my honeymoon trip what i i personally i wouldn't be like heck no this person's coming towards you they're going to ask you to go on this trip with them if they hand you tickets someplace okay um number one make sure that ticket is in your name and number two ask them ask them just come out and ask them the question. Was this planned for someone else? Did you have this trip planned with someone else? Then no, I don't want it. I feel like that's what you need to say. You know, but that's completely up to you. You're going to be having a conversation with this person, though. There's going to be a talk. Okay? Um, it's, I feel it's an awaited message. You know it's coming in. Okay, it could be a phone call, a text message, an email. Okay, this person's going to lay it on thick. Um, they're going to be kind of love bombing you. Okay, so get ready for the love bombing. Get ready for them to ask you on a trip. Okay, ask them some questions about this karmic relationship. That's what I'm getting here. Ask them some questions, okay, and watch the expression on their face. Okay, because I really do feel like they were in a karmic situation that they're ending, but they were going to be getting married to that karmic and taking her on this vacation. Okay, ask these questions, collective. Yeah, you're about to have a conversation with them. Yeah, see, here's the thing. They're a runner, and you know it. Are they going to run from you again? Or are they just running to you? That's what this is. And I feel like that's what they want. They want that feeling of security. This person doesn't like to be alone. Um, I feel like they don't want to go on this vacation alone either. Okay, there's a country song about that. What is it? Um, drop a comment, you guys. I'm hearing a country song about going on their honeymoon alone and having a bunch of drinks on a plane. I don't know what country song this is. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know country, okay? But once in a while, they'll give me a country song, and I'm like, duh. I don't know what song this is. If you guys know, 
please drop a comment. Okay. It it's totally has something to do with this reading. <laughs> Um, but yeah, now they now they're running back to you. Okay, they're running back to you, collective, wanting you to go on this trip with them. Okay, not wanting to be alone. This is someone possibly very afraid of being alone. They hate being being alone. They want someone to run to to coo them. To I but I feel like you know what? Yeah, this person made you at one point feel like you weren't enough. Okay, they they sabotaged you. They they put you in a third party. You could have had jealousy and um and fear issues over this. Okay, you could have been ripped apart in the community, thrown to the wolves, blamed for some of this. Yeah, you know, I feel like this person made you take the heat. Okay, they threw you into the fire. And then they, they went to this karmic individual and got engaged. And now they're running back to you, okay? And they're thinking that you will take them right back. Or at least they're hoping that you'll open your heart, right? Yeah, because you're a healer. Because you are their healer. And they want you to heal them and free them from a toxic relationship. Okay? That's what it is. You're the one who holds the key. This person could have had many other options, several other options. It says many options here. They had a decision to make, okay? And I feel like they strung you along in this for a long time. They did. They, they, it's almost like maybe they even said, I'll be back, right? Oh, years later, where are they? You know, but you can feel them pulling on your energy. You remember the, the empty promises that they gave you. You know, so now I feel like you're dropping that to the wayside. See how you're dropping that heart. And you're walking away from this. Okay, you're walking away. I feel like they don't want that to happen though. But this person, I mean, they made you feel like this, though. They made you feel like this. Don't read the cards. Just look at the picture. They made you feel like that, collective. You know, and look at how she's got this heart wrapped or strapped around your ankle, right? Like a chain dragging it along with you everywhere you go. And now this person wants to come back in. Take a look at this. This is how they made you feel. And now they want to come back in. For your healing energy. Yep, kisses. So you can kiss it and make it better. They want that loving, unconditional love now. They want that um, affection. Okay? Now they want it. Whereas before, they treated you like you weren't enough. This is who's coming back in. Because they just got cheated on. Because they're, and they, I feel like they walked in on it. They witnessed it. Yeah, they're hoping that you fall back in love with them all over again. But I feel like time is up on this connection. And you're doing better now in your life than ever before. Um, you could be receiving a lot of blessings. Your money's looking good, okay? You've got blessings kind of falling down um, from the sky here, so... Um, yeah, you're manifesting exactly what you want, okay? It says bliss right here. You're happy without this person, but it took you a long time to heal from this. Look at, look at that. That's how this person left you feeling right there. That's it right there. It's really sad what this person did to you, okay? But now you're better without them in your life. You've healed. You're focusing on your abundance and the things that you can control and the things that you can grow. And now this person is hoping that they can get you to fall in love with them all over again. And because, see, here's the thing, though. They're going from one to another. They want your healing energy, but they're also, they don't know how to be alone. And I feel like they have to do their own healing this time. You did. You did. When this person left you behind like this, 
There was no one there to help you. I feel like all you had was the divine. Okay? And now you're like this. Now that's you. And you went through that healing process all by yourself. This person has to heal on their own as well. Okay? That's what I'm getting. And time is up. Time's up. Yeah, it says here, time to heal. This person needs to heal. They need time, right? It takes time. You know? It's not your job to heal this person. Had they made a different decision, had this person chosen you, their healer, before and seen the value in your heart, right? The value in your love, then they would be, they would not be having this problem right now, number one. And they could very well be living in a whole lot of love, like a ten of cups situation. But they didn't choose you. As a matter of fact, they betrayed you and left you behind to heal on your own. They abandoned you. And they knew that you were sad. They knew you were hurting and they knew you needed answers and they did nothing. And now this person wants to come back around. I, I feel like I need to tell you this is kind of a warning because they're not ready. They can't bring this baggage to you. Um, I feel like if you, t if you took this person back the, in the energy that they're in right now, they would only be bringing the baggage to you, expecting you to heal them. And that's not how a relationship works. Okay? This person has to be at your same level, and they're not. Right now, they're wounded, and they're coming to you to heal them. Okay? All right, so let's get um, let's get some advice. What advice can you give me? I feel like trust your intuition. Okay, look at you can feel the vibes all around you. Trust that intuition of yours because this person's coming back around. See, you're already happy. You're in a very um, peaceful state right now okay you're peaceful you're calm you're tapped into the divine okay spirit is now leading you into a new cycle a new phase in your life okay and you're happy and good without this person like you don't need anybody's energy you don't need anybody in the energy that you're in okay you're an empress in the minor arcana energy you could be a virgo you could maybe be a leo uh, 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 Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, okay? Yeah, the Spirit wants you to be ready for new things, new things. Keep your vibrations as high as you can. Trust your intuition with everyone who approaches you right now, okay? Um, past people and new people, all right? And be open to receive new things. I feel like Spirit is trying to make you just focus on the new okay focus on the new yeah because you're about to get the ten of, of cups see this is where you're headed towards is the ten of cups after a long period of feeling orphaned betrayed and kicked out in the cold okay and abandoned and just left there to hurt okay you go from this energy collective to this energy with the six of cups that's wish fulfillment or sorry did i say six of cups sorry ten of cups ten of cups sorry the, the land of milk and honey this is wish fulfillment my bad i don't know why i said why did i say six of cups um that's odd all right what can you show me Building blocks, yeah. You're going to be starting something new, like maybe a new project coming up in the future. Um, you're already on a very stable foundation. Some of you could be making a house move, a location change. You could be going on your own vacation, you know. 
Yeah, let's see what this person is planning on saying. I just want to see. I'm curious. I, they are, I feel like they are going to ask you on a vacation. I think about you so much, it's scaring me. I'm lost. I don't know what to do. See, yeah, when this person feels lost now, they're going to feel really lost now. And I feel like they're going to be running straight to you. No other compares to you. Well, then what were they doing? Marrying someone else. Right? I hope the future will bring us together. I'm learning a spiritual lesson. Yes, they are learning a very harsh lesson here. I sabotage this connection and I regret it. I never experienced this intense connection before. I remember how we used to laugh and talk for hours about everything. I miss you. And this is what this person wants. This is what they want back. They want those long conversations. During those conversations, collective you used to heal them. You used to make them feel better about stuff. You used to offer them sound advice words to live by you used to help them out of the difficult times this is what they miss okay and that's what they're coming back for they want a long talk they want you to coo them they want you to heal them but they need to be able to heal themselves just like you had to 